Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners, lesson 44, and in this video I want to go through a very simple form validation script. <laughs> Alright then gang, so I've got exactly the same form up here in the HTML as the last lesson, which is this thing right over here. I've just added an empty div at the bottom, and that's got an ID of message. Now, I want to create a really, really simple form validation script, which is going to check when someone clicks submit whether a name has been entered, all right? Now, it's not that hard to do this, but again, this is a very simple validation script. When you're doing validation for real, you're going to want to dive a lot deeper. But because this is a beginner's course, I want to start off lightly. There is going to be a whole playlist on forms in the future, so stay tuned for that. This is just an introduction. All right then, so let's jump over to this test.js and start writing some code. First thing I want to do is put my form in a variable. So we'll create a variable called my form, just like we did in the last lesson, and we'll set this equal to document.forms. And then remember from that we can grab the my form form right here by using this name. Alright, so we'll say dot my form, and then that stores the form in this variable. Now I want to create a second variable called message and that's going to grab hold of the element right here called message because we're going to update this with an error message if a user fails to put in a name. So we'll say document.get element by ID and then the ID is message. All right, cool. So we've got those two variables. Now I want to introduce you to the on submit event. Now the on submit event is the event which occurs when you click submit. All right. So normally what would happen is when you click submit, it would communicate with the server and do some kind of a server side validation and then return back a result. Now we can interrupt this process using the on submit event, do some kind of client side validation right here in the browser with JavaScript. And then if it's not to our liking, we don't have to send it to the server. So we save all that time, all that communication. All right. So let's do that. Let's say my form dot on submit. And notice the on submit method is on my form, not the submit button itself. All right. That's important. And we set that equal to a function. And inside this function is where we're going to do a little bit of checking. Right. And I want to make sure that something has been entered into here. So basically, I want to say, if this is empty, then I'm going to throw up an error message. If it's not empty, then I'll return true and the form can process. All right, then. So we'll say if my form dot name because that's the name of this input field here dot value is equal to an empty string meaning there's nothing in it then I'm going to throw up an error message and the message dot inner html that's this element right here we're setting the inner html to be please enter a name all right else then we can say message dot inner oops inner html to equal nothing all right because if they do it incorrectly once then it's going to throw up the error message here then if they click it again we want the error message to disappear because they've done it correctly this time once they've put a name in all right so we're getting rid of that error message now there's a little bit more to this i need to do something right here which means we're going to stop that form from being submitted and the way we do this is by returning a value. And we saw in functions how we can return values. In this case, we're going to return false. And that will just say, hey, no, they've done something wrong. I don't want this form to be submitted. Uh, we can save time communicating with the server. All right. Right here, I'm just going to return true to say, oops, not which run. Return true to say, yeah, everything's hunky-dory. Go ahead and communicate with the server. Submit this form. All right. So... Let's save that now and refresh over here. And what I'll do is submit without entering anything here. And you'll see we get the error message. Now, if I say ninja and then submit, now the error message goes away and the form is submitted. Awesome. All right, guys. So that is a really, really, really simple form validation. Uh, like I say, it goes a lot deeper than this. And the good news is HTML5 helps out a lot with it. 
However, I'm not going to go into too much detail now about that. Like I say, I'm going to do a whole playlist on forms in the future, validation, HTML5, all that jazz. So if you want to uh, watch that, stay tuned. It's coming pretty soon. Otherwise, guys, if you have any questions about this video, feel free to comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and like, and I'll see you guys in the next one.